Get out of here. You are ruining the property. Skateboarders hear this all the time. For years, skateboarders have been harassed by people for doing what they love. In the past, skaters were known as druggies, bums, and criminals. Today, however, as the time passes by, people change their bias about skateboarders and their opinions vary. Uh, I don't like the skateboarders. Trouble! Because they are almost everywhere where you just want to walk and there's somebody that's skating around you or it's, in the winter it's not that bad but in the summer it's with all students, it's very bad. It's I would be very scared because maybe they are racist. Skaters don't do anybody any harm. No, I will not scare anyone. No. I think you should stimulate any kind of creative use of your body in terms of uh, sports. I think uh, because it's not aggressive. I think I don't feel it's it's kind of it's it's a game for people doing that with each other. I don't think they are interested in people around them. So here comes the question. If the majority of people in Utrecht are so loyal, then why are there still new signs, no skateboarding? And the problems with skateboarding still appear in the headlines of the newspapers. We've asked the police officers to explain this, but when they heard the word skateboarding, they rejected to give them the interview, as well as police department refused to give any comments. Nevertheless, problems with police and negative stereotypes still take place in the city of Utrecht. Problems with the police, yeah. In Holland, it's like, it's not that much troubles with the police, but in other countries uh, it is. Sometimes they say if you don't go away, you'll get a ticket or your skateboard will be taken away. You have places where it's forbidden to skate. They are, there are signs. I'm uh, originally from uh, Zeist, and uh, there you have uh, really big images that it's not allowed to skateboard on certain spots. Sometimes you get kicked away at spots. Well, it depends. On uh, some spots you get uh, kicked out only, but uh, at some spots they want to uh, take your board away or give you uh, a ticket. When you go to uh, Hoogkaterijnen or um, in the city, you will get... Uh, oh, in Hoogkaterijnen you will get um, busted, or how do you call it, you get a ticket, yes. Yeah, I got like three or five, four fines from 50 euro each for skateboarding somewhere, just standing on my board at the station, the cop came to me like, okay, you get a ticket for 50 euros right now. It's like, why? You're standing on your board. It's like, okay, so pretty strange. Uh, yeah, uh, if you're with a lot of people, they're, they're really like, okay, you're making a lot of noise and if you don't go away, you all get a ticket. So if you're alone, you probably won't have a lot of problems and you'll can start talking with them and make a nice uh, chat and then they're, yeah, they'll be uh, more uh, nice to you. And we're just skating, so we always say like, uh, uh, go arrest some real criminals, you know. Today there are over 10 million skateboarders in the world and nearly 150 in Utrecht. Skateboarding has turned into a 750 million dollar industry. There is a significant trend to treat skateboarding as a sport rather than classify it as vandalism.